love a good shelf. They're great for storing books and ornaments too. And they can be a good talking point in a room. But the only talk in this bookshelf's doing is screaming out for help. So I've got an idea to create shelves across this whole wall, which will be practical and a great feature too. Leave your tape measure in the toolbox because we're taking shelving to the 21st century. With this laser measurer, simply take the measurements and it transfers them to your phone and then you've got a plan that you can take with you wherever you need to go. If you're working a big job, this tool is ideal. It measures up to 40 metres with an accuracy of plus or minus two millimetres. Perfect for outside. Now I'm planning ahead here. I don't want to damage the cornice or the picture rail because you might be renting, or simply one day, you might not want the shelves here anymore. So I've come down from the cornice and I'll have a nice shelf running the whole length of the wall and around the picture rail, I'll be doing a scribe joint. Another great feature with this tool is it works out volume and square meterage. So it's perfect for working out how much paint I need for this wall. You might think this colour's intense, but don't worry, I've designed these shelves without a backing board. So once it's all filled up with books and everything else, you'll just see pops of colour coming through. While the paint's drawn, I can start cutting up the shelves. And for that, I'm using some laminated pine panel. And I can get the measurements off the plan on my phone. You'll see that one side's wider than the other. I'm making these shelves in sections so they're easy to carry through the house and put in position. And this step down, well, that will make sense a little later. Even in new houses, the floor can be out, but in old houses, there's definitely more chance. So we want to pack the plinth level, and you can see that there's a big gap here, and it runs out to nothing down this side. So I'm going to scribe the plinth following the floor, Plane down to that line, and then I can assemble it. And with a level base, we're ready to put our shelves in. Now this may look a little bit weird, but these half sides that I made earlier are going to interlock into each other, then I can screw them off, and we'll be left with the same width along the front face of these shelves. Then I can set it up on the plinth, Mark my picture rail, cut that out, and it should fit in like a foot in a sock. <laughs> to give the bookcases a more grand look, I'm adding a capping, which I'm just going to overhang from the front end. And a clear coat of polyurethane will finish the whole thing off. And there you go. This definitely solves the problem of having all your books and belongings on the floor. And I think that makes a great feature too.